apple teeth. I hope you enjoy. These are the ingredients that I put into my meatloaf. So I've got ground beef. I use crackers rather than breadcrumbs. I just crush them up. I've got garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of cinnamon, cayenne pepper, cumin. I've got an egg and your food will stick together better if your egg is blended first before you mix it into your food. And then we've got onion, spinach, shredded carrot, and celery. And I'm gonna put that all into the beef, mix it all together, and then we're gonna make a sauce to go on top. Don't forget the salt and pepper. Those are important too. Salt actually helps to blend all the flavors of your food together and also take away any excess moisture that you might get from your meat and vegetables while it's cooking. So as much as some people don't like to cook with salt, it's actually very important to cook with salt. So here's our meatloaf and I'm getting ready to make the sauce. I'm starting off with some brown sugar and we're gonna add a little bit of garlic to that. Not a lot, just a little. We're gonna add some tomato. Fair amount of tomato actually, so I'm just gonna do. Get a tomato paste. Salt. <laughs> and splash in there some soy sauce mix that all together That goes over top of your meatloaf. And then you're gonna bake that for a good, probably 40, 45 minutes on 400 degrees until it's cooked in the, in the center. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, these were some of the foods that I eat lately and um, my homemade meatloaf. Oftentimes uh, I will pre-saute the vegetables that I put into my homemade meatloaf to make them soft. This time I didn't. I actually kind of regret not doing that because it really helps um, just kind of mesh everything together and just the flavors kind of go together a little bit better and it's not as crunchy if you um, pre-cook the vegetables so anyways uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you in the next one bye for now love ya Mwah.